All right, you order food from an app, and you think it's direct from your favorite restaurant, right? Not necessarily here. As KSL investigator Matt Gephardt found out, in some of these cases, we are being fooled by these food apps. Right, Matt? Yeah, Mike. Dini, a Utah store somehow found itself on a delivery app, and when they couldn't get the app to take them off, we got the call. Our investigation found this is a wider issue of in inaccurate menus, angry customers, and restaurants caught in the middle. Off of Interstate 80 near Park City, in a small annex built into the side of a mechanic shop. We live about three miles up the road. Sits Lou Ann's Cupcakes. Now, like many restaurants, owner Lou Ann Luchenbach says she has been approached by delivery services hoping to add her products to their menu. But Lou Ann says it is not for her. No, we do mostly bake to order, so we don't have a lot of people that just stop in and pick something up. So imagine Lou Ann's surprise when she got a phone call from an angry customer demanding to know why the order for which she had paid had never shown up, an order placed through the Uber Eats app. And I explained to them that we didn't have an Uber Eats agreement or we didn't do business with Uber Eats. What? So but funny. with that, Luann got online and surprise, take a look, there's Luann's cupcakes, although not really. It lists items that she no longer sells and it has pictures of items that she's never sold. See, donuts. Luann's cupcake with donuts, look at that. I know, how funny is that? Luann says she has tried to contact Uber Eats and have her shop removed, but it hasn't worked. I tried to fill in a form that said to contact them. I tried to call and ask someone how they got our information, what was going on. I asked if there could be a supervisor call me so I could find out what the deal was, and they said no. Meanwhile, Luann says the angry calls keep coming, and she worries it could hurt her business. We're the place that relies on reviews. So Luann called the KSL investigators. As we began digging, we learned that Luann is not alone. Take, for example, down the highway in Salt Lake City, the Bayou restaurant says on their website they don't do business with delivery apps because they charge a 30% commission, and 30% is a lot. But from time to time, the Bayou writes their restaurant still pops up on the apps, and they are still getting orders from them. And it's not just a Utah issue. In fact, in Washington, D.C., they passed a law to prohibit third-party meal delivery platforms from arranging to deliver a meal order from a restaurant without first obtaining an agreement with the restaurant. So what does Uber Eats have to say about all of this? Well, nothing to us. We reached out to their public relations people, and we did not hear back. But it seems somebody may have gotten the message because the very next day, some good news for Luann. Luann's cupcakes no longer listed on Uber Eats. Luann says she is glad to have control of her product back. You know, there are, of course, lots of restaurants that are perfectly happy to be listed on the delivery apps. Coming up tomorrow morning on KSL Today, we decided to put some of the different delivery apps to the test. Can you save money by using one app over another? And just how much more do you pay for that delivery convenience versus driving to the store? Mike, we will see you tomorrow morning. Yeah, you know, it's funny. You'd think they'd have to agree, have an agreement from the get-go if they were going to do something like In that. In Washington, D.C., that's the law. That is not the law here, no. So fascinating. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Thanks, Matt. It's worth it,